Hey, what's up guys and gals, Sanitary 103. Welcome to another installment of In The News. And in today's article, a link in the description box. The uh, title is, Why the FDA is Warning People About Dark Chocolate. Now, the FDA did a recent study where they tested a bunch of uh, dark chocolate uh, candy bars and they found out that 59% of those tested had trace amounts of milk. And why is that a problem? Well, according to the article, and I didn't even know this, uh, milk is uh, one of the top eight food allergens in the US. I'm sure peanuts is probably at the top and that's probably one of the more popular ones, but any type of food allergen, if it has even trace amounts of it, it could be really catastrophic. This is a little bit alarming because dark chocolate is supposed to be the safer alternative to get that sweet tooth fix um, if you're allergic to uh, milk with dark chocolate, but they found trace amounts. And I'll read a little bit from the article. It says, uh, while dark chocolate bars labeled dairy-free or allergen-free were the least likely to contain milk, two out of 17 of these products were uh, found to contain milk. 55 of the 93 bars without any clear indication of the presence of milk were also found to contain milk, which comprises 59%. And six out of the 11 chocolate uh, products labeled traces of milk contained milk at detectable levels high enough to potentially cause severe reactions in some individuals. So even the candy bars that they tested that had a label on it, some of the levels of milk was too high, according to the FDA. Another important part in the subsection of this article it basically, uh, they did another study and um, the Consumer Health Watchdog, as you so, filed a notices of legal action on Wednesday against Hershey's, Seas Candies, and Mars, alleging violation of California's Safe Drinking Water and Toxic Envi Enforcement Act, uh, excuse me, for failure to warn consumers of the toxic chemical cadmium in the company's chocolate products. So there's a bunch uh, that have been uh, tagged and basically, uh, chronic amounts of cadmium has been linked to kidney, uh, liver, and bone damage in humans. And some of the companies include uh, Godiva, Giardelli, Lint, I never heard of that, Green and Black Peppers, or excuse me, Green and Blacks, Kroger, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods. There's just a plethora of uh, candy companies that had uh, are getting hit with uh, a cadmium uh, potential um, lawsuit. So uh, this is kind of kind of scary. Now I'm not trying to uh, scare you guys and gals. It kind of seems like everything doesn't or it seems like everything in the news these days is just not safe, right? You got to worry about this. You got to worry about that. Is bottled water okay? Is regular tap water okay? How about this food allergen? Gluten free, uh, organic, this and that. Um, I'm just presenting this news to you to be a very, very cautious. So the moral of the story is make sure you do your own research, read the labels, but make sure you do your own research because ultimately you're gonna be responsible for your own health. It's kind of sad. You would think that companies would be a little bit more cautious, especially over food allergens and about your health, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems like people are just all about mass production and making a quick profit. So take care of your own body be safe, do your own research, and hopefully you're going to be okay. If you know anyone that has a milk allergen and likes to eat chocolate, please be sure to share this video with them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Today's quick video, I'm going to show you five highly effective ab exercises that you can do in the courtesy of your home. So let's go and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to lay down.